Good hustle by Chris Ford, following the ball down. Now caught as the trailer. A lot of ball players will do that instinctively. Chris Ford did it and converted the field goal. Had he not come down, of course, there would have been no field goal at all. I think Cleveland is feeling they have not been winning with the slowdown game. Is looking to put a little bit more run on their offense. They're doing that today, and they're getting free basketballs. Here is Clyde Frazier with a good hand. Needs some help and guns it up court to Campy Russell. And the bomb. Any place out of the area code. And he has seven. Walker takes a look in low. He's not even six feet, I don't think. Shorter than money, and money's listed at six feet. A good move by Campy Russell, who is a streak shooter and who can burn you. He now has nine. Bob Kaufman looks on as his Detroit Pistons have rallied back. They're going to Lanier down low. He is challenging Elmore Smith, who has three personal fouls. Lanier is getting it done now. He has 19 points for the game. Down low, they go to Campy Russell. They clear aside for him one on one against ML Carr. And Campy Russell right into the square and down through the hoop. There's just no way you're going to stop that kind of play. Five for five in the third quarter, and the Pistons have the four point lead again. Elmore Smith broke off that time to double team Eric Money. Bob Lanier with a great shooting touch. They're starting to go to Campy Russell. They want their streak shooter to get the bottom. Campy Russell responds with consecutive field goals. From nearby Pontiac Central High School and All-American at the University of Michigan. Campy Russell is the leading scorer on the Cavaliers, an average of over 19 points a game. Jones at 6'11", dribbles the ball down court. Campy Russell working on ML Carr. Russell, you can put a bag over his head when he thought it's going to go in. What a streak shooter he is. Wow. And a six-point lead for the Pistons, their biggest of the game. They trail by 13 in the second quarter by two at the half. The game plan is Campy Russell. He is hitting for Cleveland. Detroit scoring on layups. Campy Russell scoring on bombs. Here comes Butch Walker, feeding the ball up to Walt Frazier. Rebound by Elmore Smith. Too much out of this. Lanier was in there intimidating. Lanier throws to four, two on one. Lead goes to ML Carr. And down it goes. And it's a 76-73 game. Detroit and Campy Russell now goes six for six. He has 19 points. Mendy? Good thing Campy Russell's in that lineup because he is getting Cleveland close. One of the players on the court, the four remaining players, would have to shoot the free throws. Who would select him? The opposing coach. The opposing coach. Campy Russell fires it up. And Russell, who has been red hot throughout the third, he had seven points at the half, is hit for 14 second half points. And it's a one point game. Detroit's lead by one. Austin Carr on the run. Nobody on the flanks. So Carr pulls up and guides it down nicely. And Cleveland has come back to take the lead. 85 to 84 with 9.26 to play. No way you can operate when you get that kind of contact. That's the fourth personal foul on Chris Ford, so he takes the rest. Eric Money is back in the game now for the Pistons. Walt Frazier outside to Jones. Here is Campy Russell looking to fire. He's been hot. Campy Russell can do no wrong as he now has hit down 23 points. 16 here in the second half. And it's an 87 to 86 game. Cleveland is back with the lead as Leon Douglas fires it up. Cavaliers now hitting the defensive board hard. Lambert got it up to Frazier. Skinner, gloves tight on Frazier. Campy Russell knocks it down and he was fouled on the play, just ripping it open. Good play by Walt Frazier. He saw the man cutting through the hoop. Campy Russell will put across the passing lane. Walt Frazier keeping his eyes on a peripheral vision, sees him coming, watch this beautiful pass. There's the bounce pass, the classic bounce pass, and there's his possible three-point play. Campy Russell, after leading Michigan to the Big Ten title in 1974 and a berth in the NCAA playoffs, was Cleveland's first hardship pick. He left Michigan after his junior year. And Cleveland had three chances down there. Again, good defense by Detroit. It's a great defensive battle right now. Both teams are running well. Very exciting ball game. Well, this Campy Russell is just remarkable. There is just no spot on the court that he can't score from. He has 28 points, 21 in the second half. Outside, they go to Austin Carr. He can fire from long range. Jones 
as the ball tipped away by Lanier, but it's picked up by Campy Russell. Unbelievable. Absolutely astounding, the shooting of these two big men. Walt Frazier takes a look. Campy Russell was great, but Lanier was beyond great in this game. Jones takes a look. He fights. He looks. He throws it over everybody. ML Carr loses the ball to Campy Russell, who banks it in and ties the game. 116, 116. 34 seconds left to play in the overtime, and we're again tied. So Cleveland will inbound the ball, and they will get a free shot. Detroit won't move. Austin Carr gets that free shot. The game is over. And the Detroit Pistons, trailing early in the game by as many as 13, rally back to win their fourth straight game. The final score, Detroit 120, Cleveland 116.